Welcome back to the week ahead. It's finally almost here. We are just hours away from the launch of the 2021 Summer Reading Challenge, and there is a lot going on at the library this week. So let's jump right in. On Monday, everyone with a Roseville Library card, from the youngest listeners to independent readers, teens, and adults, can sign up for the Summer Reading Challenge. The rules vary by age group a little, but the basic premise is simple. Read books, tell us what you read, win prizes, there are a lot of prizes, including raffles for the grand prize at the end. Kids can win a family pass to the Detroit Zoo. Teens can win a 3D printing pen. Adults can win a $100 gift card to Mr. Paul's Chop House. The Summer Reading Challenge runs from Monday, June 21st through Friday, July 30th. And you can sign up starting tomorrow. And also tomorrow, our Literary Pets Photo Contest begins. Do you have a photogenic pet at home who loves to read? Or at least will tolerate you posing it and taking pictures of it? Then we've got a contest for you. Take a picture of your furry, feathered, or scaly friend and submit it in one of three categories. Pets reading, pets dressed as a book character, or reading with pets. One winner will be chosen from each category, and those winners will receive a $25 gift card to PetSmart. You do need a Rosal Library card to enter, and just a disclaimer, by submitting any photos, you give us the permission to display them in the library promotions. To enter, just send your photo to the email address on your screen now with the subject line, Pet Photo Contest. Be sure to include your name, phone number, the category you are entering, and anything else you'd like us to know about your pet or photo in the body of the email. Winners will be announced on Monday, August 2nd, but you can enter as early as tomorrow, and good luck. Next up, the Family Backyard Fun Kids can be picked up on Monday. These require registration, so if you haven't, if you already signed up for one, You can get it at the circulation desk or at curbside. And finally, for Monday, the first of our Monday book walks is tomorrow as well. That was a very awkward sentence. Walk the library grounds and read the pages of a story as you go. This is a fun activity for kids and families to enjoy together and will be set up tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And I wonder what story it's going to be. I know. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was Monday. But there's still more. Tuesdays, kids and family who registered for the ceramic owl craft can come pick that up at the circulation desk or at curbside. And when you come to get your ceramic owl, you might want to register for the uh, next STEM activity, the Pizza Box Solar Oven Take and Make Kit 2. That will not be available for pickup until July, but you'll want to register for it as soon as possible. And as always, a Rosal Library card is required. And I'm just coming in here with a special report. You guys are doing a great broadcast, by the way, but I just wanted to include something that on Wednesday, there is a special video that's going to be posted to our Facebook and YouTube pages at 6 p.m. It's Teen Food Fun Leftover Pizza. Um, The time has come to think about an important question. What can you do with leftover pizza? Well, when life gives you leftover pizza, you make pizza waffles with pizza bread pudding. Watch this cooking demonstration for some fun ideas to make your old pizza into something new. This event will be recorded and presented. So I just wanted to let you guys know that because uh, I, I don't know why, but I just had a feeling you were going to forget that somehow, forget to put it in the script or something. Okay, back to you in the studio. Thursday's program is Raising Backyard Chickens. Seth Martin, who is the Macomb 4-H program coordinator, will be here outside the library to discuss everything you need to consider when you decide to raise your own flock of egg laying chickens. Mm. If you haven't signed up for this this one yet, check out our website to see if you are, if there are still spots open. And I think there still are. And we'll see you for that on Thursday at 2 p.m. Finally, kids, listen up. Come in here. Friday is comic book day. Do you like free comic books? We've got free comic books. And you can have free comic books, too. 
You'll just want to visit the youth desk on Friday between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Pick out a free comic book, read it, and it's yours to keep. It's that simple. So yeah, that is a lot going on this week. No doubt you, you are going to have questions about something we've discussed today. And if you do, you can ask us. Just call, email, social media us. Yes, I made that verb. Or visit us in person, and we'll be glad to hear from you. So the week ahead looks busy, but it's just the beginning of our summer programming. Check back next Sunday, and we'll tell you more.